Okay, I'm wearing a sweater because I'm really cold right now. I don't know why. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna show you what to do because it's New Year's and the gym might be a little more crowded, which is fine. So I'm gonna show you what to do when you can only get one piece of equipment, maybe two, um, and with these, uh, this one right here. So with the lying hamstring curl, for example, there are four different workouts you can easily do here when you snag this machine. So let's, let's get into it really quick. So we're gonna keep this in real time and I'm gonna show you exactly how I cycle through each of these four leg exercises which target different muscle groups in the legs using one machine. So this is your typical standard hamstring curl lying down and my goal here is to actually get a little bit more of a challenge out of this movement. So what I'm doing is I believe I did 12, 10 to 12 reps um, at a, a high weight and then lowered the weight and did another 10 to 12 reps and then immediately lowered the, the weight and did another 10 to 12 reps or at least I tried and this would be called a drop set um, so it's essentially one set however you have multiple mini sets in between I don't know if, if that's the proper way to um, describe it call me a wordsmith just kidding next exercise we're sliding into a hip thrust so this is a very easy modification for a barbell hip thrust which is really great for your glutes in a way that many other exercises are not um, in comparison and basically my feet are flat although you can't see them and what I'm doing is I'm bringing my hips up towards the ceiling and bringing them back down and I don't go too far down and I don't want to lose my resistance or line of resistance but um, it burns pretty bad so with that one you want to go pretty heavy like you're shooting for around 90 and more because you're pretty strong in that area so immediately after I am going into a donkey kick and this is a variation where I'm using about 30 pounds which seemed to be actually kind of easy um, but I didn't know how much to do with this particular machine because every machine is a little different and it's kind of awkward you're kicking outward but by adding weight to your donkey kick you're actually getting much more out of it than just doing it with no weight at all because I know that's a popular exercise that people do and this is just a way to get more burn and more out of it um, as far as having <laughs> getting the benefits out of doing this movement because it's really hard to build muscle without having some sort of resistance and lastly we are focusing a little bit more on the quads with this one however it does help your glutes as well and I am just lifting one of my back legs at a time and pulsing down um, I believe I did 10 reps here you can do it however is challenging however many is challenging for you I just was kind of feeling the burn and I almost fell um, because of the fact that I didn't rest in between any of these exercises but this is what I do when I can't get any other machine in a busy gym usually a 24-hour fitness <laughs> So you can do those in a cycle, like a quad set, where basically you go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, repeat. You could superset two of those, two and two, or you can do four sets of one, four sets of the next, or more sets. You could do four sets or more sets, um, but you get the point. So that's what you can easily do when you get uh, your hands on this, for example. So just because the gym might be a little busy doesn't necessarily mean that you still can't get um, a full and good workout. That could be half of your entire leg workout. So then just add in some walking lunges or squat rack or some deadlifts and you're good to go. So I just wanted to share this because um, I know that it was something that I had to utilize in the gym. Like a couple weeks ago I posted it on Instagram because the gyms are a little bit more crowded right now and uh, just get creative with, with what you get get your hands on. There's plenty of stuff you can do with dumbbells and um, yeah, while I was in here filming for my six week challenge, um, which is full, 
But if you want to apply for the waitlist for my next one, you can apply using the link in my bio. Um, but anyways, filming some videos for that, and I just thought I would share this with the general public. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. I do want to talk really quick about um, starting on your New Year's resolutions. Now, I know I just made a video about Herbalife, skinny tees, waist trainers, and all that stuff. So, we won't talk about that. But I do want to say that if you do have New Year's resolutions, just make sure that when your motivation is gone, you continue to be consistent and go through the motions because that's what's going to get you there. Everybody loses their motivation. But the difference between those who achieve their goals and those who don't are the ones who continue to consistently go through the motions. Now, if you couldn't get coaching and you couldn't get help and you couldn't get a personal trainer because you didn't have any money left over after Christmas, that shouldn't stop you. There are plenty of resources out there and all you have to do is set aside three to four days a week to consistently do something that you plan so that you're productive and um, just make sure that you are getting a good amount of you know protein not too many carbs not too much fat that means you're gonna want to stay away from things in boxes you're gonna want to stay away from things that are super processed and um, one thing that's helped me to cook a lot of food and I was just telling one of my clients this is uh, by using an air fryer which helps me to cook all my proteins all my carbs and everything in a matter of minutes without having to do anything extra these are just a couple of random things that may help you um, just reevaluate your approach this year with your New Year's resolution.